This is the Inner Mongolia First Machinery Group Corporation. Many Chinese armored fighting vehicles were produced here. Lu Renfeng, the chief mechanic, is closely watching the vehicle's water test. There were more than 400 welding lines on the entire body of the vehicle. You have to wear every line carefully because this is an amphibious vehicle. It's going to go in water, sometimes into the sea. You have to guarantee the lives of our soldiers. The job requires perfect technique and accurate skills. The first day Lu Renfeng came to the workshop, he set himself a goal of becoming an excellent mechanic. He practiced with extra 50 welding rods every day. The extra practice took me almost two hours every day. A lot of people were wondering what's wrong with this young man. Why doesn't he go home after work? After three years of practice, his refined skills made him one of the most famous mechanics. Then, a huge blow. He lost his left hand in an accident. After surgery, he could not even hold up a cup of water with his left hand, let alone weld with it. But Lu Renfeng didn't give up. I asked my wife to bring all the books about welding to the hospital. So during my year in hospital, I improved my theory level a lot, although without real practice. People doubted he could still do the job with only one hand. But Lu Renfeng persisted and proved them wrong. You see there's a ring here so I can hold it with my mouth. I can hold it for maximum half an hour at one time. And this glove is very thick with heat insulation material inside, so I can hold the hot part with it. With unremitting efforts, Lu Renfeng restored his welding skills and won many competitions. Then came a major challenge. The new type of tanks and armored fighting vehicles required the use of new special material, a special kind of hard steel, but it was almost impossible to complete the welding work on this material. Cracks always appeared during the welding, either on the material itself or on the welding line. Many gave up. But Lu Renfeng said there was no excuse. He conducted 133 experiments over several years until he finally succeeded. The welding can even survive a gunshot. Lu Renfeng also trained many students. Even some of his students' students have made great achievements. He also helped design procedures so that robots can use his technique. At the national parade on September the 3rd, a number of tanks and armored fighting vehicles came from Lu Renfeng's workshop. I was working on the day of the parade, so I could only watch the rebroadcast the next day. I was so happy to see our own vehicles. They were so beautiful. Thousands of tanks and armored fighting vehicles have been made using Lu Renfeng's welding technique, and the number is still rising. Lu said he will never stop. He said after many big projects, the most difficult technical problems were always handed to him. He said that's something you can never buy with money.